Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I have a few things that I would like to share um, and I'm mostly putting this up right now for my sisters to see because I'm all the time telling them what I'm doing but they never see what I get to do because they live so far away and I don't take a whole lot of time to put this up but anyway I want to show you while I'm talking uh, these are uh, charms that I made for one of my clients I've been cleaning for 23 years and um, this is one of the gifts my thank you gift is for them being my customer for all these years every Christmas I like to try to do a little something for my clients to um, thank them for an appreciation for their service to me for keeping me in business um, this right here is for another client and I do do these based on their personalities and this little wiring part right here I made that with a thingamajig and uh, these so you see those and I will be selling these um, because I am I've been cleaning for 23 years and I've been in business for like 16 or 17 years uh, there's another one and these are some that I'm working on to sell that I have not completed yet and I'm basically trying to I'm starting me a business out of my home to do things um, that uh, won't be so hard to do after you've cleaned for so long you know there's enough enough is enough your body gets wore out from it and so I'm trying I prayed and I asked God please help me come up with another business that I can do the work from my home that will be successful and these are the things that came to my mind and also I will be making watches as well with the beaded bracelets I have some on my way that I ordered from a company that will be coming to me um, I should have them by in January um, this is a hair piece that um, that I made and I have made other ones but I have not took pictures or nothing but they all turned out really nice and I just wanted to share that that's one of the things I've done and these are Christmas gifts that I have been working on and hopefully I will have them done by today none of them are complete so um, but I did want to just show you while I'm videoing and I'm gonna do this this is for my niece uh, Anna she is a dancer and I thought this would be so fitting for her and I will I have a charm that says I heart to dance and um, I'm gonna be hanging that from it somewhere um, this one right here is for my nephew Austin and I will be adding a little bit of color to this and um, maybe he loves he's in the racing and I have a picture of him racing I mean he's in his race car all dressed up and everything so I might put that in there um, <clears throat> and this is a picture frame that I have made that I've pretty much finished um, I just don't have the glass yet uh, to put in to protect the picture but here we have this and I use beads for the middle of the flower and then I made this right here for my my brother-in-law and I used Versamark and ultra embossing powder to get it to shine like that and then this is a frame I absolutely love. This is one of my favorites, and I made this for my, this is going to my uh, mother-in-law, Nina. And this one is going to my father-in-law, Jerry. And then this one I've made, and I don't have a specific person for this. I don't know, I may, I'm thinking about one but just to give as a gift because I just she's just so awesome it's not a present for Christmas just just awesome she's just an awesome lady um, 
This one I made, I'm giving to um, my daughter's best friend, Sarah, for her birthday. She had a birthday yesterday. And I know I'm late, but she wasn't at church last night anyway, so she wouldn't have got it anyway. But, sorry. Uh, but anyway, that's hers. It's a friendship kind of frame, I think. Well, things they do together. <laughs> they have lots of fun together, and they're both beautiful, and they love each other to death, and, you know, you know. And then this one, this frame here, I made for Jessie. She is one of my nieces. Very cute. Um, and then I wanted to show real quick the gift I'm doing for my sister-in-law. And uh, my sister made this for me. It says Lynn's Recipes on it. It's a recipe box. She made this for me, I don't know, four or five years ago, I guess. And look at the little bumblebee. Isn't that cute? Um, and I absolutely love it. I just, but my sister-in-law came and she's like, oh, I just love that. Where did you get it? And I'm like, my sister made it. And she's like, what? She said, she did such a good job. And so ever since then, Every time she'd come to the house, she'd just keep telling me how much she loved that recipe box. So, I tried and tried and tried to find one of the boxes. Well, it took me a while. But when I was out of town um, this past November visiting my sisters, we went to Hobby Lobby. We don't have a Hobby Lobby here where I live. And um, so I got to go there. And anyway, I found, I bought two of them. And I'm doing one for each of my sister-in-law's. And this is mine that I made for Christy. And I have got to put the Christy's recipes tag here. And then I've got to make the inserts for it and a recipe holder to match it. And I'll be done with this. Um, this is just, I'm going to let you just see close up what I did with the top. And I pretty much just, I have, I happen to have some of that same paper that my sister used on mine. The only thing I don't have are the extra little bumblebees that she had. I have no, I have looked everywhere for bumblebees to put on here, but I have not had any luck. So I might end up cutting some from another piece of paper and just add to them. But that's that, and I think I pretty much got it all. But anything that you have seen me show today, um, I will be making more. And if you're interested in buying any of it, um, for those who are watching, um, please, by all means, let me know. And I would be happy to custom order your, uh, get them made for you and have them sent to you as soon as possible. So everybody, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And you get to enjoy your families. And those who have white Christmases, I am so envious of you. I want to have a white Christmas so bad. But down here in the south, we hardly ever get snow. So anyway, for that being said, I'm going to say bye. And y'all have a great day today. Bye.